Hello everybody and welcome to a let's play of MechWarrior 3. I haven't done any content in a long time so I figured it was about time to change that. Hope all of you are having a good time. Here we are with MechWarrior 3 and uh, Freako's Weapons Mod version 2.4 with the 2.45 patch and the Campaign plus Added Enemies version 1.1. I haven't done anything on this character yet, just made him pilot, I guess. Uh, just some quick notes before we get started. Uh, due to various issues, I have to rebuild my recording setup every time I close and open the game, and I am going to have to do that fairly frequently due to a bug with saved games, where if you use the MFBs to replenish your supplies and then reload your save, um, those uh, reload your save to prior to that time. So, like, say you're in a mission, you get damaged, you use the MFBs, and you get repaired, and then you end up restarting that mission for whatever reason, like you died, uh, you lose those uh, that equipment permanently. It's gone from your save. So I'm going to have to continually back up my save and reload it if I die or fail a mission and can't complete it, or if it just goes badly enough. So, this is going to be an interesting exercise in doing the same thing over potentially hundreds of times. So, without further ado, let's get started on Op 1 Mission 1. Remember, this is not just MechWarrior 3 with the weapons mod and the campaign plus added enemies. It is much harder. I will not be playing the way that I would normally play MechWarrior 3. Objectives. Neutralize communication center at Op Point Abel. Rendezvous with mobile field base at Op Point Baker. Look out for these SRM emplacements. Mobile threats should consist of light mechs and some vehicles. Good luck, Lance Leader. You'll also notice the little bit of additional info up there at the top. Just something fun. Let's get in. Reactor online. Computer online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Coolant reserve online. Self-destruct systems online. All systems nominal. Group fire engaged. Let's lead her Single fire engaged. Base. We're down on target, awaiting rendezvous. Just so you know, oh, hold on. All units come in. We've got movement all around our location. Don't waste any time getting here. Due to the placement and number of enemies, some missions require you to be very fast and very aggressive, and some require you to take advantage of your position. So, for this mission, for example. Due to the placement of elementals on the field, I'm going to have to stay in this water for a while. They won't approach me, but we're going to be moving through it anyways. The problem is the elementals are absolutely brutal with a build this bad for the bushwhacker. So, I would not want to be dealing with them on land. They can't enter water, so... You get the idea. They should be appearing here in a moment, once I get into about firing range of this turret. In the comments, I will be sure to post a link to the guide that I created. Elemental. Yeah, yeah, fucking elementals. Elemental. I hate these guys. Don't get me wrong. They're fun later on, but right now my weapons just aren't suited to fighting them. I, have, I just have nothing I can face them adequately with. And there are so many. <laughs> and this bushwhacker isn't fully armored. But as I was saying, I'll post the full guide that I wrote to getting MechWarrior 3 running in the comments, as well as probably with a little update for how I got OBS to record properly, which was a fucking nightmare that took like two days to get working. Uh, I am using Teleguy's HD patch. I'm playing at 1280 by 720 which is also what I'm recording at, so I'm sorry I can't give you guys any better resolution. I wish I could bump this up upscale to 1080p, but as far as I know I don't really have an option for that. I'm kinda stuck with this. If I go any higher resolution the game appears really crappy, and I've tried fiddling around with... There. I've tried fiddling around with higher resolution stuff in the DG Voodoo 2 settings, but it just does, none of this plays well together. Trying to get uh, MechWarrior 3, a game from 1999, 
playing well with DG Voodoo, a very modern system, OBS for recording, and Teleguy's HD patch, all at the same time, is juggling a lot. Like, the game runs just fine, and from my view, it looks great. Like, I have a fairly wide view, and the UI is the appropriate size, but trying to get all of this working is not fun. Um, I'm also capping the game at 30 FPS via Riva Tuner statistic server, which is hooking into the DirectX calls directly, which could be, who knows, that could be fucking with something too and causing me problems. But aside from their squirting, oop, I'm a little too close. I should have backed up a little. Oh, I thought I had the damage display settings. I want to change it to, not H, H tel but I would like to change it to uh, the other one. Yeah, that's the one weakness of these elementals. They can't go into water. And that kind of makes sense. Because they're very jump jet heavy, and I don't believe those jump jets work well in water, if I remember my lore correctly. Okay, well that deals with the LMLs. At least for now. I don't think they're anymore. Yeah, there's just those stupid fucking trucks. Let's get in range of that turret and take it out. I hate single heat sinks. Yes, I do. I don't know if there's any point to stopping these trucks. Ever since the original game came out, I've never seen. To restart this mission already. That is a lot of damage. I don't know if I can deal with this Owens now. Unfortunately, my mech has gone into its torso locked mode. I don't know why. I don't have that bound to anything. I specifically unbound it to prevent this sort of thing from. Oh, I had an AC10, didn't I? All units, we are proceeding on mission. Contact okay. when able. Why not contact when Bagel, huh? Well, the important thing is that I like this, which might net a salvage. And we are golden. Now we just gotta knock out this thing. So guys, I'll see if I can't work out the uh, issue with my torso getting locked, because that's going to get real annoying very fast. What button was it? Is it any of these buttons? Ugh, I don't know. The graphics aren't doing perfect here, there's still a little bit of shimmering, but overall, it's pretty good considering this game's age. We'll see if the MFBs look alright on the next mission. 
Uh, I think that covers all about I had to say. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more MechWarrior 3 with Frico's campaign. <laughs>